Hey guys, this is Neo from Back to Warcraft with some news on the ESL Pro Tour. This was supposed to be the World Championship of Warcraft 3 with a $200,000 prize pool. And we had our first event in Anaheim uh, earlier this year. And this was supposed to be followed by three more events in the Netherlands, Sweden and Australia. But due to the fact that the world is, uh, yeah, what it is right now, we can't really do any offline events. So the offline events got scratched. These events will unfortunately not happen. What will happen is the continuation of the ESL Pro Tour. Today, DreamHack and ESL released the news of how we will proceed with this tournament and uh, what the future of War Competitive Warcraft 3 holds. So without further ado, we will read all the news and then I will give my personal opinion on things. So, Warcraft 3, turn the tournaments. All Warcraft 3 tournaments in 2020 will take place online as multi-regional competition. That was to be expected. So everything is online and will be separated into regions, which uh, we'll get into it later. With an expected return to offline competition in 2021. There will be three seasons of competition, summer, fall, winter. Each season will consist of three regional divisions, Europe, Americas and Asia. So we have nine tournaments in total. Three in summer, three in fall, three in winter, one for every region. The Europeans will play on the European server, the Americas will play on the American server, and the Asians will play on Neddy. It's going to be 16 players for Europe, 8 for Americas, and 8 for Asia. Europe and Americas have invites and qualifiers, while Asia will have invites only. Each season will be played across four-week periods, starting with qualifiers concluding in a season final. The season finals introduce global competition. Once regional divisions conclude and the best players from each have been crowned, each division will take their top finishing players to compete for the title of season champion. That's going to be interesting. So, this all, throughout the seasons, you will gather ESL Pro Tour points. And you can qualify for the World Championship. The World Championship is moving from December 2020 to IEM Katowice 2021. 15 positions will be split across the three regions with Moon qualifying from Anaheim. So we have five for Europe, two for North America and eight with Moon nine for Asia. For each season, there will be $35,000 prize pool, 10,000 for Europe and Asia also for the season final, and 5,000 for North America. So, that's the news. Now, what I love about this, and I really, really love this, is the move to Katowice. This is where the StarCraft World Champion is crowned. This is where the biggest CSGO tournament takes place. And whatever stream you're looking at from Katowice, the fans are wild, the crowd is amazing. The atmosphere is just electric. So having Warcraft in Katowice, even though if it's just a side stage or whatever, this is the capital of esports or of ESL esports. And this is a dream come true if we end up casting there or for all fans, like just gathering there at, in, in Poland. This is going to be amazing. And this is the best. Moving to online tournaments is the only thing that makes sense. Obviously, you, know, you never know what happens when events are going to be allowed again, what restrictions there will be. So moving everything online was what we expected and what is right. The three seasons seem to be good. And I'm a big fan of the Europe and America region. So 16 players for Europe uh, with qualifiers, that seems great. For invites as well, it's just justified for like the happy, foggy and whatnot. Also, like the WGL system with the top four automatically requalifying is fine. I think the Americas, it's justified that they have eight players instead of 16. The scene is still a little weaker with a very strong top in Cruncher and Hitman. So I think we see that 16 players is pretty much Dust League, right? So... Having that shrunk to eight in compared to Europe is great or good. Also the prize pool. It is the weakest region. We all know that, but they definitely deserve their spot with what they build in the past two years, especially shout out to Dust and Oceanus. I think there's a problem in Asia. 
And the problem in Asia starts with it's only eight players. This is by far the strongest region. This is by far the most skill we have in the entire scene. And if every season will only have eight players, beginning with eight invites for season one. This means that whoever gets invited for the first season will have an advantage because he gets ESL Pro Tour points gifted. And for the second and third season, it says the top two from Summer requalify and WGL invites. So how does that work? I'm not too sure. There might be mistakes here. We can assume that the WGL Summer event, the $70,000 event, will happen before the summer starts. So maybe it's the top eight of Asia again for summer. Or just for fall. And then it would be a huge gap between the summer WGL finals and the fall EPT tournament. There's a flaw. I think the Asian region should be expanded to 16 players. Can have invites. You can depend it a little on WGL. Um, depends on how close the season is to the past WGL event. But I think you have to open it up for qualifiers. We all know that the seedings for these Chinese events can be interesting. So if you have a bad seeding and or a bad day, you ruin not only your WGL uh, season, but you also ruin your EPT chances. That's a lot. And I don't think that's right. It should be open, it shouldn't be dependent on WGL, and it should be bigger, in my opinion. So, second big flaw, season finals. How the F is this supposed to work? We all know we have pretty much four servers in Warcraft. US West, Europe, Seoul, and Netties. So you have your three regions, but where do they play? You get eight players across the entire world, and it's $10,000 on the line. So what can happen? You either play on Battle.net, whatever server, and exclude all of China because they have no chance to play ev anywhere except Netties. Even if you do that and play with only America's Europe, Korea, what server do you pick? There's not going to be fair conditions at all. It's going to be plus 200 ping or very one-sided ping for one of the competitors. If you play everything on Netties, you have an advantage for Korea and China but a huge disadvantage for Europe and uh, America. So one player will play with five ping, the other player will play with 160. So it's always going to be unfair. And I think that is okay in general, as we have it at WGL tournaments. We have happy winning CC Masters on Netties. Uh, we have Hoggy and... Foggy and Hawk doing good in online competition on Lady. So it is okay. But it's $10,000. Isn't that a little too heavy? I think the idea is cool. I think if this has a show match character, that's really nice. But $10,000 is a little too much for the conditions we have. Maybe until then we have a solution by Blizzard or pet or whatever uh, and then it's all gonna be fine but status quo that's not great all right no matter what i really hope they change asia and i really hope they change the season finals but it's gonna be a lot of warcraft and that's a lot of money and we're gonna see great games and hopefully we're pa uh, part of the casting uh, crew let us know what do you guys think of the online tournaments? Is that a good solution? Is that the best they could make of it? Um, what do you think about the regions? What do you think about the finals? What do you think about everything here? And yeah, what's your feedback on all of this? ESL and DreamHack listen a lot. They watch a lot. They read a lot. 
and your voice will be heard. I'm sure of that. So this is Neo with the ESL Pro Tour news. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.